Welcome back. Welcome back. That wasn't a, a 50 minute episode, at least. Really? It, it wasn't. Oh, okay. Like that one time. Yeah. But it was probably like a. Let's see. Not quite 30 minutes. Okay. A little over like 20, 25 ish, maybe. So that's not too bad. Mm hmm. Kind of like a double episode, I guess. Yeah. Projector is female. I'm shocked. <laughs> <laughs> Born around cosmic year 2000. <gasps> Whoa. Wait a minute. So she, she's only 16 years so old? So she's younger than us. Totally. Wait a minute. So, oh, so she's... Well, she's clearly younger than us. She was born in the future. <gasps> so she's alive right now. We're going to have to find her. And she'll be 16, so that'll be it. <laughs> we'll yeah, exactly. wait two we'll years. We'll have to wait a couple of years before we do anything. Now that with sounds her. really weird. I mean, it's completely legal, but it's so weird to do, be like, oh, I gotta, I gotta I, I'm just going to wait a couple of years and it'll be legal. Yeah. <laughs> uh, got a bunch of voice actresses. What is Name her uh, other M voice actress for me so I can say how bad she is. In Japanese, it's I Kobayashi. In normal, in art, in normal, normal. I guess unnormal it would technically be. In English, it's Jessica Martin. She's terrible. That actually Jessica sounds familiar. Jessica Martin is terrible. What does she do? She's just bad. Bad voice actress. <laughs> it is a <laughs> She's known for doing bad roles. <laughs> Hello, we like, to, we like to hire a bad voice actress. No, she's just... I've only <laughs> heard her in other M, but she was just yeah. terrible, you know, so... Yeah. <laughs> that was just funny to me. Mm. Interview. Interview? I don't want to hear any interviews with her. <laughs> what did she sound like? She sounded oh, she like, like Laura, except even less interested in really? her life. No. Oh. She, she just didn't sound like she was remotely interested. Yeah. You know? Was it difficult figuring out who she only Sam is? <laughs> um, Nate. Oh, it's not even an interview with her. <laughs> it's a bit mob person, whatever the heck that is, interviewing Nate Bildorf. Whatever I know is. who that is. Is he a heretic? I have no idea who that is. Okay. What about Dan Osen? I have no idea. Let's look at it. Go for it. Uh. Oh, he just localized Metroid. Okay. That's boring. <laughs> That's boring, man. You just, <laughs> you just brought the game to the US so we could actually <laughs> play it and understand stuff. I think that would be one of the coolest jobs, actually, is, like, working with Nintendo Treehouse, because mm -hmm. that's what they do, Yeah, I believe. Mm -hmm. And you, you... It's, like, better than a game tester, because the game's, like, already working. Yeah. You don't have to, like, do stupid stuff. You, you just, just have, have to, to translate it. Yeah, and you get much. to play all the games early and mm -hmm. stuff. And the people seem to really love games when you see Nintendo Treehouse coverage. Yeah. So... It also, doesn't seem like it makes them hate their job. Are you ready for these guys? Is that like a, a space pirate but with a cubicle head? Yeah. No, they're, they're the space pirates that are only immune to one beam. Or they're not immune to one beam, that is. Okay. Of course, <laughs> they're only immune to one beam. Yeah. And it's a, it's a, a laser pointer. Yeah, that. <laughs> <laughs> oh darn, if only this laser pointer didn't damage me. <laughs> I would be so happy. Painful, you know, these laser pointers. They do a lot of damage mentally as well. <laughs> Indeed. They do lots of damage to Lor Lorelei King. Yes. Who is a United States born actress. <laughs> the voice for Samus and Metroid Pinball. <laughs> the greatest Metroid game. <laughs> oh no, she's not even the voice of, Metro of Samus. The voice of the power suit in Metroid Prime Pinball. Excellent. Has glitched out. Ooh, oh, she lives with me. two men. Ooh. Her husband and Vincent Marcello. I know who that is. He is a fellow actor. Cool. 
So they got some hot threesomes going on there all the time, I'm sure. Oh, how do I get out of this crap? I want to go back to the interesting stuff. You mean reading about voice actors and their lives isn't interesting? <laughs> how could well, it actually did get saucier than I was expecting. Yeah. Granted, it might... It just said it was her... She lived with her fellow actress and, hu and the husband. Yeah. So maybe their fellow actress is her son or something. Sure, why not? I doubt it, though, because that... They probably would have said it was her son. Yeah, indeed. Ooh, look at this Metroid art. What the heck? Barry, throw it up. Oh, wait. <laughs> oh, my. She's being... What is this? She's being... Coupled with the uh, discussion we had earlier about Space Pirate Will 34, I'm not liking where this is going. Ooh, she's like all like soft... She's like sassy. Ooh, Digging sassy. around in the sand. Look at this. Excellent. That's pretty hot. Totally. Except she's saying like something like Nani! or I don't know some Japanese that I can't understand. Nani, nani. <laughs> that means what's up or what's happening. What's cracking, my Negroes? Oh, the Chodo. Chodo, Chodo. What the heck? She's being bamboozled by Chozo in this picture. Bamboozled. She's got like no hair, almost. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. She looks like Huck Finn had like intercourse with the Gustus Glue. <laughs> and they had a babu. Well, it was established that she had short hair when she was a child. <laughs> On purpose? Or was she defective? Because <laughs> she looks very defective. Indeed. Oh my goodness. No wonder she goes around killing aliens. She was mad at them for giving her short hair <laughs> and making her mentally impaired. <laughs> We're putting her face through a meat grinder. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Samus. Oh my, what is this? <laughs> Old bird. Yeah, that's one of the, uh, Jozo. Ah! Oh my goodness. <laughs> he looks like a California raisin. <laughs> oh, his excellent. I gotta know all the things. Indeed. Oh, apparently he, like, has voodoo magic he performs on her. Indeed. AKA Chozo DNA splicing, I don't know. Let's see what he says. It's also, I don't remember English. if there's actually anything in these or if I'm just dicking around for no reason. Might be one over there. Uh. I'm the member of the Chozo clan. We created Samus Sang Power Suit. Samus Sang Power Suit? Samus Sang? What does that mean? I don't know. We created Samus S Sang Power Suit. Are you sure? I have no idea. I was just you saying stuff. Save her? I know what I'm doing. Samus Sang? Steve Hardy. Hooray! It is only the last place that I looked. Gray voice looks cool. Yeah, Gray voice was a uh, Chozo. Chozodian. Was he badass? I don't even remember. <laughs> Apparently, Chief Hardy was completely brawled prior to Metroid Zero Mission. Okay. He's a chief of the Federation Police. Okay. And he looks like Mario. Excellent. Augustus Blue. Living humans. And deceased humans. Oh me oh my. Uh oh. Is this spoilers if I say that in the deceased humans category is Malkovich? Ian Malkovich. Oh no, spoilers. And also Virginia. Virginia. Aaron. Hanging out with little boys in spandex <laughs> again, I see. And Heracles. Heracles? <laughs> Scott Peterson. I don't recognize like any of these. Yeah, I probably don't either. Oh, Ian Malkovich and Commander Adam Malkovich. Ian they... Malkovich must be his dad or something. Uh, okay. Whoa. Klaus! Oh, that's right. I can look on this thing to... Jeff McCloud. 
about Fox? Was that Fox's dad? Sure. Jeff. My name's Jeff. Hi, my name is Jeff, and I'm a glitchy silverfish. Oh no, it's just Cyclops with an afro. Excellent. Dang it, that's not close. Don't do it. <laughs> oh. Human fastest smiles. Fast with smiles? Fact smiles. Also, I uh, appear to have glitched. I was holding it onto the, the, <laughs> the rail through the, the wall. Oh, okay. That's excellent. Quite. Pretty fantastic. Oh. Oh. Look at this. Is it saucy? As discussed, this is the proposed rifle that could be equipped with medics in the field. Despite what my esteemed colleague will surely suggest, the application of her biotic technology is only intended to be used for healing. Are we talking about Anna from Overwatch now? Yeah. Okay. She's like... Is that what we, we become as a show now? Reading wiki <laughs> pages? You're reading wiki pages while I play. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fine with it, I'm just saying. <laughs> Where did it... What service would we be providing then? None. Maybe just finding like the best wiki pages? Sure. Except I'm not even doing that. <laughs> <laughs> finding crappy wiki pages since 2006. <laughs> Get it, stop it. Get out of here. Jeff. Jeff's PDA resembles a Nintendo DS. Jeff's? Yeah. Jeff. Jeff the glitchy silverfish. From, uh... Metroid yeah. Prime episode of Aether. What is that? Uh... Let's find out. I've never even heard of it. Metroid Prime episode of Aether. Also known as... Metaroido Paramu Episodo Obu Eturu is a manga series based on the events of Metroid Prime 2 Echoes. It spans seven, seven issues of Comic Bomb Bomb in Japan. Cool. That's interesting. There's an unofficial translation of it, too. Nice. Look at all this stuff we're learning today. So much stuff. And it's important stuff, too. Oh, it has a list of all the Metroid games ever. Whoa! Uh... Prime games, it... There's games, and then there's Prime games. See, they're not canon! Wow, what are you... So it's Metroid, Zero Mission... Or the same thing. Yeah. Kind of. Metroid 2, Super Metroid, Other M, and then Fusion. Is the canonical order of the games I guess. Uh -huh. Then Prime, Hunters 2, and 3. And then Trilogy and Federation Force. Yes. The Shape of Happiness is a comic. Or the Monica. Shape of Happiness? Yeah. <laughs> Samus and Joey. Dee -dee 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 -dee. Sam is Dan Joey, the newest c comedy coming to NBC this fall. Please watch these two lovebirds fall in love all over again. Oh. Watch as Samus goes hunting bounties and Joey stays at home and is a stay at home dad. Stay at home dad. It's wacky, it's zany, it's awesome, hooray, it's hilarious. Look at all these jokes and stuff. Ooh, jokes, <laughs> funny, funny. Ah, laugh track. That ah. sounds like a, a Rick and Morty, like, impromptu episode sketch. Indeed. One of those. When they watch intergalactic TV or whatever, interdimensional. Mm -hmm. I think that's an episode as well. Okay, cool. Go for Go it. Later.